Today on Toy Shiz, we're heading back into the ring, 80s style. Let's talk toys. Welcome back, everyone. Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look, courtesy of my friends over at Mattel. And today, we are totally checking out their brand new, let's say, former San Diego Comic-Con exclusive, now moving to Mattel Creations, Sergeant Slaughter. And that's an order right there. You gotta get him. If you need them, of course, only gorgeous artwork on the box. I really like the packaging that Mattel does. You got the logo right there on the side. That looks really cool amidst the blue. And then you got the little hologram right there in the corner, just to know that it's real authentico. Ultimate collection right there, stars and stripes. And on the bottom of the box, listen up maggots. Here's everything you need to know, including the barcode, which you don't need that anyways. But this is just the shipper box. Technically, you got the Cobra Clutch right there, signature move. And then you open it up, you got Sergeant Slaughter right there on the box. And bingo, bango, you got yourself one sweet designed packaging right there. Everyone's cheering them on. One says, I'm a maggot. <laughs> a tin hut. And you got the figure right there in the box. And you can pull him out. And if I'm correct in assuming, I feel like there's some Mattel employees, perhaps, amidst the background right there. There's even a guy with a cat. <laughs> but yes, Sergeant Slaughter, right? We're talking about that. Really nicely done, nice packaging overall, ultimate accessories included inside. A little box right there. Everything is removable, but you can put them all back. It's very collector friendly, so you get extra hands and heads. We'll look at those in just a second. And then you get an extra jackets right there as well the back of the packaging you get a really nice we'll say kind of sort of cross sell right there you see everything that's in the box right all accessories included you get a nice bio for of course mr sergeant slaughter and then twist them turn them battle them the ultimate collection hey did you know this is extremely collector friendly i wasn't joking when i said about the accessories you kind of just slip this off right here it just basically slips between the plastic right there and you can pull out sergeant slaughter's bubble or the accessory pack and then you can nest them all back inside when you're done and then slip them back inside the box get them all ready for bed close it up put the cobra clutch in bingo bango you're all set so this is going to be fun sit back relax grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee this is a look at the brand new mattel creations former sdcc 2021 exclusive the wwf wwe ultimate sergeant slaughter action figure and here's old sergeant slaughter out of the packaging you get one cool looking figure now i'm not a huge wrestling collector at all but i'm a huge 80s fan and that's what i really appreciate about this figure because he was everywhere when i was a kid whether i liked it or not the jacket is nice nice material it's got some velcro right there you can slip it on him Leave it off them, either way, whatever you want to do. Extra hands galore, you got a fisted hand. All the hands are the same in the sense of it's just a flat black glove sort of deal. You got a weapon holding hand, you got finger pointing hands, and the open hand if you need them. And doubles on all of those, you also have the writing crop. So that's nicely done. It's a little crooked, you know, you can kind of straighten it out if you wanted to do that. But you do get an extra head portrait. It's more of a surprised face right there. You can swap out the head portraits at your ease. But in actually looking at the figure himself, yeah, I would say that's definitely Sergeant Slaughter. You got the glasses, you got the hat, you got the boots, the pants, everything else. It's one of many different looks for Sergeant Slaughter. Now, I do know him from wrestling, of course, and I do know him from gi joe from the old cartoon but yeah i think of him kind of as all over those two realms right pretty dang cool to exist in that reality and then the gi joe one if you wanted to go that route you got the hat it's removable it's nicely done fits on his head and everything is snug and secure glasses hat and all you can pop the glasses off they look nice they fit around his ears and they stay on there sturdy, so that's what I'm looking for. He's also got his whistle right there. That's just wrapped around his neck if you want to do that. You can see the differences between the heads. Again, more surprise, more like, hey, dirtbag kind of thing. But when you put the glasses on, you get kind of different looks out of him. Now, I did say it's pretty collector friendly, except for this piece of tape. If you want to pull that off, it's what holds his whistle on. But pop the head off. 
easy peasy and you can put the alternate head portrait on just so we can see what that looks like and it's okay i mean it works for me i'm gonna put the glasses on regardless so this one kind of looks like now he's yelling in terms of not surprised anymore you got the finger point in hand and he's telling them to run drills and march their butts up drill sergeant territory and it works for me so in terms of the articulation his head rocks to and fro you know what i'm gonna take the glasses and the hat off for this because they're just gonna get in the way he looks up kind of looks down right he's got butterfly joints in his arms i think those are actually pretty slick they give him a lot of movement right there you got bicep the arms the double jointed elbows his wrists will rock to and fro so nice articulation overall in that sense he has a semblance of an ab crunch he won't really spin he actually reminds me of the new he-man revelation figure mine doesn't want to swivel at the top but he will swivel at the waist to belt Kind of moves around on you so you can fixate it wherever you want to place it and you can do the splits with old sergeant slaughter he's got thigh swivel he's got double jointed knees and he's got toe articulation and with some actual boot rotation right there so that's nice and hidden now one thing on mine when i go to move the feet let's say you know do any kind of rocker or anything like that they're both stuck on either side so they don't move up they don't move down so i'd be very careful maybe heat yours up when you get it and i can say that's really only one of the nitpicks so far other than that the articulation's pretty solid on him putting the jacket on is a breeze that actually looks pretty cool too give him an alternate look just simply slip it on slip it off you know how to put an action figures jacket on i do kind of prefer though that the jacket's open i actually prefer him in the usa kind of wife beater tank top sort of deal for the actual riding crop it's really loose in his hands he doesn't hold the base of it you could say but up top yeah you can slip it right there and he'll hold it quite nicely in terms of showing you scale with this guy here he is next to a new motu origins fisto uh-huh <laughs> here he is next to a neca toys <laughs> fisto frankenstein <laughs> and with marvel legends yeah he kind of sort of fits in i would say here he is with a dormammu from one of the most recent waves of the zenmu bath he does fit in with the new masters of the universe revelation scare glow figure which of course is another stcc exclusive on mattel creations to put in with other like 70s 80s brands optimus prime star wars black series luke skywalker so he does run a bit tall but i do expect sergeant slaughter to be more of like the bigger type dude let's say like the amber collection mr arnold kind of thing or mcfarland toys it's around that realm of the seven inch scale so if you have him in that sense yeah but i'm sure you're all wondering how does he scale with gi joe classified and i'll tell you honestly i did watch a few episodes of gi joe with sergeant slaughter in there to kind of just do some research and really look at the scaling if you watch it clearly his scale goes every which way and that's with kind of those old cartoons so in all honesty i expect him to be a bigger type muscular gi joe kind of guy if you wanted to go that route outside of wrestling so in all honesty i would say he might be a smidge too tall to put in but i think that he fits nicely i mean it's kind of cool to have a sergeant slaughter figure so if you wanted to go that route i would say yeah you'd probably be in good shape either way and just to show you scalage for other wrestler figures here he is with the last year's comic-con exclusive mr t and i'd say they scale really nicely i feel like we're all about to learn a lesson at the end of a cartoon right <laughs> so that's gonna wrap it up for my look at the brand new ultimate edition sergeant slaughter figure from mattel and thank you again to mattel for setting this out to give you guys this fresh look now where can you get him from them little card in the box july 22nd this july 22nd mattelcreations.com at 9 a.m now I'm going to say in and around 9 a.m. because I've learned my lesson many a time, but in and around 9 a.m. Pacific, so that will be 12 p.m. Eastern Time, you should be able to grab one of these off the MattelCreations.com website. But I'm curious to know what you guys think about this figure. Is he for you? Will you be grabbing him for your wrestling collection, for your G.I. Joe collection? maybe for both comment below let me know let's talk everything sergeant slaughter and i'm gonna leave you guys with that as always drink some great coffee eat some great food but most importantly remember be ready to go mattel creations july 22nd 9 a.m pacific i hope you grab one and when you do 
Let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.